wonder what awaits me in the wastes. Oh, we have uh, weapons here. Can we do something? Wait a second. What's this rustling sound? Oh, for fuck's sake. We're gonna die already. From uneven shadows that are dancing around the campfire emerges a well-built man in his thirties, dressed in a musty khaki uniform. One, continue. Well, would you look at that? A girl all alone in this part of the waste. Are you perchance lost? The man stops before you and rubs his hands as to warm himself, or to show you a formidable brass knuckle on his left hand. Or maybe you're like the little red riding hood delivering food to your sick grandmother in all these bags of yours. The man whistles, sizing up your equipment. That's very careless. What if some big bad wolf were to dis start chasing you? I mean, you wouldn't last a hundred meters with such heavy luggage. <clears throat> the stranger's face breaks into ominous smile. Me and my pals could ha help you carry it. Well, not for free, of course, but for a very manageable price. What say you? You finally notice four human figures hitting hidden in the dark of the night and you still had some doubts about what is transpiring now it's becoming painfully clear you're about to get robbed okay so we have shitty speech crap this is not gonna help much one you choose the wrong woman mate i was trained to deal with the hostile locals speech craft listen i would share but i don't have a lot myself only the bare minimum for survival be a human being and leave me alone strength I think we had five. Easy there, man. Maybe you missed it in the dark, but you're looking for trouble with someone who won't be stopped by that brass knuckle of yours. Oh, what the hell? Go on, rob me, you bunch of low lives. Well, I'm either picking one or three. Let's go three. Strength check. Failed. The man chuckles. His accomplices openly burst out laughing. Oh, hell. The girl is knee high to a grasshopper, but st still acts tough. Listen, honey. Why don't you lie down and rest for a bit? Maybe you'll have a dream about beating the ever-loving crap out of us. Wait. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, so we were meant to fuck it up. Well, what would have happened if we had actually had high intelligence? Would she have understood to not let her weapon go so far away okay they actually robbed everything there's a water how do I oh, I control them just with the keyboard can I uh, see shit here or? Ah, they took everything what did we just get okay so we have punch and kick Empty canteen. It's a Soviet uh, army canteen. You can get some water into it. Okay. Oh man, look at the this one. It's like almost exactly like Fallout, one and two. What's this? Crafting experiment round. Shot round. Okay, nice. So, can we loot the tell, tent, take all? I was hoping we could uh, repack it or something. Okay, can we loot the car? There's something. I love the spoon. A simple alum aluminum spoon now considered a luxury item. Oh ho. We found some luxury item. Spoon. Locked. Okay, so we need to find a lockpick. I love the camera movement. It's really nicely done. I wonder if uh, I had quite high attention. So, I'm expecting that if we see something uh, hidden that uh, with this attention level we should 
spot it and maybe tell us that she says that oh this is here or whatever I don't know where to go so this leaves the area we haven't checked this side though. is this fog of war or what is this no I just can't move in it can she move up there no so we've checked this area feel like it Okay, so what the hell? What's up there? Run, woman. Okay, so far I love the game. I tried to make the episode about 20 minutes. You know what? I started thinking. Maybe I could have tried... Where the hell are we? How do I find my character? Are we here? Oh, for fuck's sake. Damn, how, how do I find my character? I think we... Accidentally... This is going well. There's some shit. Could we be up here? No, that's not us. That's a There we are. There should be a button to find your character. Yeah, like I was saying that I think I could have maybe right clicked and maybe be able to open the, the locked box that we saw. Before you stand a strongly built man aged around 30. He is wearing a weathered military jacket and holds a large gun on his hands. On further inspection he seems like an affa affable guy that would probably welcome a conversation with a random stranger. He absently chews a blade of grass, but upon seeing you, he livens up. Hey there, comrade. Uh, uh, and hello to you too. The man coughs and spits out the blade of grass, then removes his hands from his rifle, letting it hang there by its handmade leather belt. Nice to meet you. My name is Jan. May I ask what brings you to your our village uh, I'm looking for someone someone who lives here not really okay then so how may I help you out I want to ask you a couple of questions fine I'll try to answer was there a troop of military types in your village lately do you have any work available around here tell me about your village heard any r good rumors lately uh, let's ask uh, was there a troop of military types in your village lately. Funny you should ask. A squad of troops came through the village not long ago. Can't say if they were military though. But they had some serious looking dudes. Good weapons on them. And their attitude was pretty militant. They were wearing... They were even wearing uniforms of sorts. Some serious guys I tell you. Real serious. They bought some water. Rested for a day near the walls and moved on. I got the chatting with the youngest guy amongst them. He said they were on an expedition into the ruins, probably looking for some pre-war tech or what remains of it. God help them. They seem normal though. Can you point me in the direction of those ruins? Jan takes your map and look, after looking at it for a while draws a small black cross in one spot. After looking at it at the map again he returns it to you. Okay, we got 53x for that. Here it is. Not too far away. Thanks. Can I ask you another question? Uh, tell me about your village. What do you want to know? How's life? Our village is great. It was founded right after the war. Comrade Kovalev, our head, built it around an old oak tree with the first settlers. 
Now the oak stands in the middle of the settlement. It's our main attraction, somewhat, or should I say, a mascot. You would not believe me, but I was told that people ran all around the wastes after the bombs fell. They were looking for food and water, but everything around was simply dust and burnt earth. But here, they saw this oak, and the water running nearby was clear. That's pretty strange if you ask me. <coughs> Jan smiles, but suddenly his smile disappears, turning into a pout. The man looks like he's just ate a whole lemon. Life, though, sucks. I'll be honest with you, it sucks. There's a drought, and I don't know if you've heard, but we are being terrorized by bandits. The bandits come each month demanding money. We tried fighting them, we tried making peace with them, nothing works, they're stronger than we are. Uh, and nobody could help you. We sent the man once into the big city. Oh my god, that name, Krasnosnefmeni. So that could hire us a few mercenaries. So he could hire us a few mercenaries. With all the money he had, we had, he could only get seven men. They soon arrived looking serious and tough with their fancy guns proud of themselves. I wish I could tell you that they fought the bandits and they stopped harassing us. I wish I could tell you that, but the wasteland is no fairy tale world. The bandits killed all seven of our men, then demanding we pay them even more f the following month. They said we needed to pay, m pay more because we obviously had the money for mercenaries. Oh man, so they used all their money and then the ban mercenaries didn't do shit. Let's change the topic. Can I ask more questions? What do you want to know? I don't need drugs. I don't need weapons. Uh, fuck. Um, do we... Four. Have you heard any good rumors lately? One passerby told me that somewhere in the waste in this old abandoned boy scout camp. But it's not entirely abandoned. He told me that all the boy scouts were there before the war are still here but now they're feral and they worship the devil in their rituals feral so it's maybe ghouls or what he also told me that it's possible they are not boy scouts at all just some monstrous creatures that took on the forms of the kids trying to mimic us humans if you ask me that's just a huge load of bull clearly i'm not the man to be asked about rumors you should chat with the people in the village maybe they'll know uh, fair enough, I want to ask you something else. Do you have any work around here? Some work can always be found. For one, our tech guy disappeared somewhere. Stab Stablu was his surname. He loves a drink from time to time, sometimes he even goes on a bender, but it's not like him to be gone for so long. The last time we saw him, he was pretty drunk, bragging about becoming a millionaire real soon, and now he's just gone. Maybe he earned his million and ran off? Maybe so. But where would he get a million rubles? Something shady about the whole situation. Jan shrugs his shoulder and vig vigilantly stares into the distance before turning back to you. One way or another we could use a woman's woman that's good with her hands around here. That's right. Uh, maybe you could point me to some other jobs. You could ask around in the tavern. It belongs to the brother and sister. Vashia and Katya Radchenko. Maybe someone from the village is looking for help. I don't know. I see another question. Uh, now we've asked everything. Uh, I better go. See you later, man. Wait, feel free to come back here whenever. I, it can get pretty boring just standing here. Uh, I asked you all the questions. You need to have more questions for me. Uh, answers for me. So here was stuff to kill. I don't dare to go. It's, what is this? Rats and stuff. Let's go into town first. What was the name of this town? There was something to loot. What's that? If it's green, can I loot it? Without uh, locked. Now I want to see if I can unlock it. Wait, do I have skills? How do I... Oh my god. How do I use my skills? Oh, that's inventory. Hunger. Oh god. Let's see, what are you? Okay, lockpicking. How do I use you? What's this one done? Oh, what? This is some log, I guess. Find out the whereabouts of General Morozov expedition. In Krasnashnimeni, a big city, there's an atom agent called Fidel. He works as your friendly bartender. Close to the city walls. 
I need to find him. The password is betrayal is the pinnacle of wisdom. A traitor means a true human being. Find the bunker 317. Yeah, we can't open that one. Damn. Let's go in here. Talk to whoever is... No, it's a TV. Okay. Oh, here's someone. Hello? Before you stands an old man, weathered with but clean jacket. He looks around 60, but very well preserved for someone who lives in the wastes. It seems possible that his real age is closer to 70, his strict face adorned with short muscle mustache. What do you want, young lady? May I ask you some questions? I'm very busy. Please speak to someone in the village. He turns away from you, letting you know the conversation is over. How about you? Before you stands an aging man with an old rifle with wrinkled hands. He looks at you with mostly concealed interest. Good day, may I ask you a couple of questions? Hey there, ask away. And I'll try to get you some answers. What are you guarding? It's the village treasury. Ooh. We keep the taxes we gather here and use them for common good. And if you got any funny ideas, my friend, I don't recommend trying them out. I may be old, but I'm a great shot. Uh, I mean you no harm. Can I ask you something else? Uh, heard any rumors. They say plenty of monsters are seen in the south of and the north. Giant spiders, wasps, and even more dangerous things. Some even settled near the village. Oh my god. I don't even know whether they can breed. If they can, we're in trouble. A dangerous situation. Can I ask you something else? Okay. I'm done asking you questions. So that's the treasury. Can you... Oh, so th this one you can see what you can loot. Okay, I see. Alt, I can see here that there's stuff to loot. What is this one? A log? What the hell am I supposed to do with a log? Is it for freezing or...? Okay, so this uh, changed everything. Now we can see what we can loot. Oh, this is guns probably. Food. Before you stand a thin middle-aged man. His bony blooms... His bony face blooms with a slightly forced smile when he notices you. Next. Good day, good day for your perishal guns and all kinds. Pre-war, hot off the workbench. Rifles, shotguns, pistols and the best gunsmith in the waste. All my weapons are of the highest quality. If it explodes in your hands, your money back guaranteed. Uh, eh, as I tried to barter. Sorry friend, my prices are already the best in the waste. If you don't want to buy anything, then don't. But I... Just can't slash my prices any further. It's too bad. Well, worth a try. Can I keep doing it? I was wondering if oh, it's probably the runners. I'd like to see your wares. Mm, I have a... Well, this was supposed to be a con luxury item. Why isn't it more worth more? So, everything's in rubles. Ammo costs 51 rubles. We take one. How much does one ammo... Eight rubles, okay. Uh, logs, okay. Scrap metal, can meat, salt, sharpening stone. Damn. This is gonna be a hard game. Uh, I'm just looking around. There's something to steal. Can I steal it without him being angry or? Don't try to steal anything. Okay, good. It's good that they warned and didn't automatically send the police on me. Medic. You see a slightly bent thin but otherwise well built aged man. He's dressed in a dusty lab coat with the sleeves rolled up and clothes a shade of grey. Yes, you must be the local doctor. You're right, young lady, Dr. Mikoyan. But you can call me Konstantin. Mm. Now, I don't need anything right now even know what I'm looking for. I'd like to find some money. Do I need to... F okay. He's sleeping. Can I steal from here then? Nice. But there were two sleeping there. Apparently these uh, logs are worth stuff. So might as well steal some. Oh yeah, they're sleeping. What's this? This is a workbench maybe? You turn the handle, but the sink doesn't work. Maybe you need to fix the pump first. This is a... Uh, how do I check what it is? Because you could do that in... Uh, fallout. Then, then 
turned in is not working. It must be fixed. Toilet paper, <laughs> is it? Yeah. That's good to have. Never leave home without it. Oh, it's here. Oh, waste paper, brick, empty bottle, piece of tire. We're almost full inventory already. But we found stuff to sell, at least. She's sleeping. Should we try to steal this one? How do I stealth? Because... I don't know how to use skills. What is this one then? That's menu. Because I'd like to be able to stealth. Damn. I don't know. I need to check that. Let's check here. There's something to loot. Uh, no. Empty. Okay, so here's a guy who's awake at least. An old man in skullcap does what he always does. He opens and closes his toothless mouth. Ah, nah. Wasting, whistling some forgotten melody. Upon seeing you, he squints his eyes at you. Hello there, Shani. You want to speak about something? Just getting to go know the locals. Wah. Oh, the locals. Well, here I am. A local through and through. Hehe. <laughs> Did they send you to help me out, Shani? Uh, not really. What do you want? Ashamed to ask, little lady. I was this. I have this little corn patch on the back of my house. I picked the corn myself, but I'm just too old now. My back is killing me. What harvest could I pick like that? The old man gives a sad sigh. It must be very hard for him to ask someone for help. Fine, old man. I'm gonna do it. See you later. Okay, so we go harvest his his corn here. Uh, these ones. Uh, do we steal this one? Here's shovel. Let's go give it. Whistle some melody. <laughs> 